This is so ridiculous. Hello everybody. I'm standing in the paddock, the main paddock number one. Piggy paddock. And I really want to go over and say hello to my beautiful Peach and Taylor girls. And Billy and Molly who are all the way down the end. And it's not far to walk. But there's a side obstacle. And his name is Philip. And he's standing in the distance, just staring at me. And I know if I walk down there, by that tree, I'm in trouble. Because I can't get out. All of that fencing is electric. There's no gate. So right now I'm standing sort of close to the gate. Close enough that I could run. Does anybody else have this kind of trouble with their sheep? They can't go in the paddock because there's a sheep that will take you down. Anybody else? Is it just me? I'd like to say I'm being brave here, but really I think it's just being plain old idiotic. I can hear Peach calling to me. Peach! I want her to come to me. <laughs> oh, guys, this is just a testament, okay? If I post this, you know I made it out alive. Hi, Peach! Oh my gosh. Anyway, guys, I will hopefully check in with you later. Peach. Well, guys, I decided to risk it because I really wanted to come and see my beautiful peach girl and my beautiful Billy and Molly and Taylor, who's over there rubbing a tree. Hi, peachy peach. Oh, she's so beautiful. I figured if, at least if I could get to peach, that she could protect me from Phil. And Phil did run over and I said to peach, please, peach, please protect me. And she did. And she just became a barrier between us. Hi, Molly. Molly's actually become really good at protecting me too, haven't you, Molly? It really is amazing. And I don't want to jinx myself. But Molly, you know, she has learned to respect that I am head goat. Oh my gosh. Lady. Peach, he's here. Peachy. Peach, peach, peach. There we go. Thank you, Peachy. <laughs> Although I'm still not safe, guys. Hi, guys. Philip, I just wish I knew what was wrong. He was such a nice sheep when he first came here. Peach. Oh, oh my gosh. No, no, no. Okay, I might have to check back in because he's on a, he's on a mission. I don't know what's. I really don't know what's wrong with him. What's wrong with you, Phil? Why do you want to take me down? He's licking his lips. It's like this is fun, right? Are you that bored? You have a clan. Oh. Okay. Hi. Hi, Taylor. Hi Molly. Hey kitty pie. At least I can run around this tree, right? <laughs> anyway, it's nice to actually come down here and say hello to everybody. Hey Peach, such a beautiful tree. Hi Molly girl. It's a beautiful day. What are you doing Taylor? She's rubbing herself against the tree. Do you guys like your mineral blocks? We've got their salt licks and their mineral blocks down here because this is their favorite spot to be. We actually need to just um, move their hay bale feeder further down here as well. I want to have it under the tree so that it doesn't get as wet. Peachy peach, honey girl. Okay, bye guys. I am in trouble now. Gotta tell you folks, funny little video about crazy Phil in the panic. Unfortunately, it turns out not so funny. And I only made it out of there because I had to scream loud enough for John to come and rescue me. Anyway, um, glad to be back out, feeling very safe with my beautiful Patrick boy, who is the sweetest pig ever. Aren't you, Patty? He's a non-stop grass munching machine. I mean, you would be too, I guess. We all would be if we spent our days looking out the gate and dreaming of the grass that we just can't reach, you know? <clears throat> Cannot tell you how happy. I know I say it all the time. So bloody happy for Patrick. And I mean, I'm really happy for Dozer and Porsche and Alfie also. But they're big, big, big time nappers. They spend most of their day sleeping. They come out for a little stretch, little toilet time, little grass munching, and then back to bed. Hi guys. Where were you guys? Huh? Did you not hear me screaming? They came out to my rescue. Of course, when John grabbed buckets, he came to 
you know, come down to try and help me out. But, um, yeah, they just thought he had food. You guys, you have got to have my back, right? Except for Jez at the moment because she's cranky. She's moody. It's that time of the month. <coughs> hey, Harley boy. Who's my big boy? Such a big talker. Oh, okay. Let's go say hello to the professional nappers. You know, it's so funny. We have been wondering for so long the mystery about why there are little rocks in here. I don't like it. There's little stones. And we finally figured out that when they concreted this the slab of this area that they had dumped a whole heap of their sand and rock mix in the corner. Finally figured that out. I'm sure you all wanted to know that. Hi guys, just me. Knock knock. Hi to hell. Hello. Hi Porsche. Hi Dozer. Look at that head buried under his jaw. Hi Doze. Hello handsome. Just me. Gotta let him know who you are by letting him smell you and then he goes, okay. Oh, back to napping. Hi Porsche. Hey Porsche. He's a beautiful girl. Hi Alfie. <coughs> Ollie, hi. Hi Ollie. Just waiting for a phone call, dude, and hopefully we get your tusks done and then he gets to go out. What have you dragged to your bed this time? He's dragged some plastic and his food, his water bowl. Oh, you need some water. Got it. And his food bag. His favorite toys to sleep with. Hello, Alfie. How are you? Are you thinking about getting up anytime today and going outside for a run? Are you not sure? Hey, handsome. I'm sorry, did I interrupt a very important nap? All right, well, you go back to sleep. I'll go around and visit some munchkins. I love coming to visit these guys. Hello, my little popcorns. Hello, oh, I've got to get through the door without stepping on anyone. Hello, hello, hello. Especially on sunny days. Let's go put my jacket down. Hello, Nina. Hi, Nines. How's my beautiful girl doing? And you're beautiful. Oh, she's such a beautiful girl. Oh, this is great. So, <clears throat> went back to visit our friend Jenny, who is uh, where Stella came from, Stella, where Stella came from, and Esme came from. And she just has a whole heap of stuff she thought might be useful. And um, this one has come in very handy, I believe. This is a little water trough thing, and it looks like it's sturdy enough that, you know, we can fill it up with the little piglets. And it shouldn't, I say shouldn't, I mean, if, you know, it shouldn't get knocked over. Of course, it, it could. You'd really want to, you'd be having to try pretty hard. Hello. Hello. No, my little babies. Oh my goodness, you guys are so cute. And of course, they've doubled in size since yesterday, right? Oh, I'm going to sit down. All right, get eaten to death. Oh, sorry. Hello. Hello, Ori. Hello, <coughs> a jumbo. What have we got here? Little tail is black, so I'm guessing this is Jimba. Hello, Jimba. Oh my goodness. Is that you, Jimba? Oh, who's got my foot? Hi, Chandra. What are you doing? <laughs> it's like she's trying to give herself a, a mud bath, but it's dry. <coughs> Hi, baby. I think this one here is Nisha. Hi, and we've got juice. Little juicy. Hi, you little juice. I just want to show you <coughs> all their cute little faces, but when you sit in here, they just get up so close, you know, nibbling away on everything. Hey, Chandra. Yeah, these guys are going to outgrow this area very, very quickly. So we've got a couple of priorities on the list at the moment. One is um, right now, John is working on putting a doorway between bachelor pad number one roosters and the geese and the ducks um, in that batch pad area. So the geese and ducks can actually, um, uh, yeah, access that area. I'll be back in a sec. So just as I was explaining that John is building this door in between the batch pad and the geese area with the ducks so that they can actually go through and access some of the grass, I had to go because John was calling to say, it's ready. And do I want to witness the ducks and geese so you can see, obviously, ducks and geese are very messy as far as they love water and everything gets muddy and stays muddy. Hi, guys. 
Hello. And then you've got the other side, which is just lush and green. You've got these six roosters that don't seem to be really upset with them. So, yeah, we thought, why not? There's a lot of commingling on this farm. We've experienced a lot of commingling over many years with animals, so don't see why they couldn't come in here and just munch out on this luscious green grass and hang out with these guys as well. So how far away are we, Farmer John, from the unveiling? Okay, well, I'll be back in a sec, guys. All right, who's gonna be first, hey? Looks like Austin was keen to go for a second, but he's chickened out. I suppose they've not interacted directly with the roosters before. Guys, do you want to check it out? Look, over there, there's... I just chucked them a bit of grass just to try and entice them over. Do you want to suss it out? Oh, Jenny's coming over. <coughs> you know, we, we kept just saying, oh, you know, it's going to be great when we build the duck and goose resort. You know, they're going to have a whole orchard and there's going to be a, a pond and, you know, they'll have grass and... But um, it's been pushed so far down the list of priorities because it's all about safety first for all the animals. Um, but, you know, we feel terrible. I kept telling John I wanted to buy a bridge to put over the water they can hop up on and he's just like, no, save it, save it for when they... Anyway, just, <laughs> just being a bit frivolous, I guess. But anyway, <clears throat> so yeah, this is a great idea. Here we go, Austin's the first one in. Oh, he's telling Miguel, excuse me. Excuse me, Miguel. <laughs> Miguel's gonna be like, hang on a second. Oh yeah, of course. Um, yeah, that's, that's the other thing is that um, it's mating season. <laughs> Austin's a male, as we've discovered. Because he's been flanking Georgia a lot. And Georgia, has been laying giant goose eggs. I've never seen a goose egg before, but we, um, yeah, she's laying massive, she, she actually built a nest, and uh, we didn't find them until we cleaned out the, the uh, bedding area. Anyway, so we've, you know, obviously we're taking the eggs away, but it's quite incredible. The eggs are massive. What do you think of this, Austin? This is exciting. Oh, it's gonna sit down, it's so wet. Hello, you guys can come around. I suppose Farmer John is in the way. Sorry, guys. <laughs> hey, gang. It's all yours, Ozzy. Ozzy? <laughs> <coughs> oh, sorry, I'm still coughing from my little panic attack with Philip in the paddock. <laughs> I just think I'm, yeah, not sure I'll ever quite get over that. All right, well, I'll check in when they're in here. There we go, we've got a bit of a standoff happening between the roosters and the geese. <clears throat> it's funny, you'd think the geese would, people think the geese are really scary because they hiss and they have a serrated beak or bill, no, beak. But really that serrated beak is, is pretty not serrated. Do you know what I mean? It's just like, they don't hurt you. I've never been hurt. Well, I mean, I don't know. I know some people might have, but I've never been hurt by geese. <clears throat> and um, yeah, they're pretty standoffish. Like they're a bit shy. And I don't know, I don't, didn't like quite get to it before, talking about mating season happening with the ducks. We're having to take clutches, found a hidden clutch from the ducks, but no one, they were just collecting a clutch. They hadn't sat on it. Same with um, Georgia, the goose in here. She actually had a clutch and I did, I told you, we took it away. And um, yeah, amazing, amazing, massive eggs. I'm just talking, repeating myself now. Really just hoping they come in here and my dream for this farm, for this sanctuary, is for everyone to hold hands and sing Kumbaya. That is like, that's our, go our goal, isn't it, honey? Yeah? Yep. <coughs> that's what we want. How curious are these guys? Around all the tools. Hello. What have you found in there? Anything interesting? Hi, guys. Are you going to venture over here anytime soon? Come on, quacky gang. 
Come on, what's this? <laughs> you guys have got to come through. You can't just eat the little tidbits of grass I throw you. There is so much grass in here. Just wanted to finish the video off quickly of how beautiful it is out here. I mean, we've got, I mean, this time of year with the orchard out here, everything is, um, you know, we're still waiting for the leaves to grow back from all the uh, deciduous trees, but oof, whoops, uneven ground. Check this out. We have a canola field across the road and it is so beautiful. Um, all the flowers are, are, are blooming. Look how pretty that is. And this is just, you know, it's not even full bloom yet. So it's going to be this magnificent sea of yellow across the road. Love it. All right, see ya.